Hey you guys, Christiane here. Welcome to our Q&A. I'm super excited to answer your questions that you're sending to me after my seminars and I want to go into more depth than I can in the seminars and give you more information as well as some tips and things that you can do on your own, okay? So thank you for being part of this wonderful endeavor and our question today is about the quantum state. How can I maintain my high frequency, my happy attitude, my positive attitude, even when th bad things, when negative things are happening around me? It could be something that's very close to you in your own system, your family system, or something that you're dealing with personally at work. It could also be something that is affecting someone around you, or you're simply dealing with the larger world and what's going on there. So however that affects you right now, however, whatever circumstances that are you pulling you off and that are kicking you out of your quantum state, that kicking you out of that special way of being that works for you. And that is something that you can cultivate. And just like that, you can also cultivate when you are getting tipped off and when you are stumbling on your path a little bit or an anchor is getting pushed, whatever metaphor works for you, that you then have quick, easy methods to get back on track, get back into alignment, getting back onto your path and knowing that you're cruising along while you're honoring what's happening. So we're not denying it. We're not playing denial here. We are honoring it. We're looking at the deeper meaning, what's going on here, why is this happening? And then we can integrate that lesson into our day, okay? So when I'm thinking about answering this question, what comes up first is there are way too many answers and there are many different facets that I can engage with this question, okay? And so I'm going to make several videos about it because I do want to go a little deeper and give you guys some great resources. There are things that you can do before an event when you know that something is going to happen, when you are aware that within the next few days I'm going to face a specific situation. It might be something at work where you're getting challenged in some way where you know it's going to be hard for you to actually maintain that high frequency. It might be a person that you're dealing with that every time that you have something to do with them, you get into a negative space. Or it could be simply you anticipating something. You know you have to take this trip. You know that you're going to face a certain challenge. You know that your car is doing something that you need to take care of. You know you have to go to the dentist. Whatever it is that you already know on your calendar, yeah, it's going to come up. Some kind of event, some kind of situation that might be a little tough for me to deal with. Okay? So all of those items where you can actually think about the future knowing that something might come up, you now have a completely different way of engaging with that because you can prepare yourself in a positive way, in a way that it's going to be useful to you and the whole system that you are part of. So when I'm thinking of, for example, that someone might have a job interview or they have a review at work, something that they might be a little scared of, they get a little ambivalent, they would like to have more confidence. And so just in thinking about that interview right now, what this person could do is using the quantum state and then already pre-programming themselves for how they want to be during the interview. When I have big engagements and I have a lot of people in my audience, which is, you know, whew, that feels a little differently than knowing I'm sitting here with 20, 30 people in a nice, comfortable little space. And then I can already anticipate how I want to walk on that stage and the confidence I want to have, the humor, the fun, the connection. Hey, everybody, how are you doing? Oh, it's so good to be here. And I can already, I call it pre-program. Ultimately, what I'm doing is I'm rehearsing it. I'm practicing it. And the way it works is the brain doesn't know the difference between what you're imagining and what you're actually doing. And therefore, you can use that to your advantage by putting certain programs into your brain, certain behaviors, certain reactions, and use the words that works for you, okay? I like to think about it as a computer. I'm literally downloading an upgrade into my brain at this moment, saying, well, instead of feeling flustered when I walk on stage and I get too hot and then my palms start sweating, I stumble over my words because I start speaking too fast, I don't breathe enough, 
instead of doing all that, because I know that that's my old reaction of doing it, now with my quantum state, I can say, okay, I can see myself walking onto that stage, super cool. I'm having the perfect body of temperature for myself to be comfortable. I feel that immediate connection with my audience. There is this energy going back and forth. Wow, it's totally giving me this extra energy to just jive and my breathing is going just nice and slow. My words are flowing nicely. And by just imagining that in my mind and then creating that audio track with it, perhaps having a little soundtrack. I'm hearing the bolero behind me. Dum, da, 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 dum, da, 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 dum, dum, dum. And you see that smile on my face. So that's the kinesthetic part. That's the body sensations, my gestures, that smile, how I'm holding myself and the breath, of course. So you can prepare yourself for situations that you know you will encounter. If it's the phone call that I've been dreading because I'm waiting for something for my doctor to tell me what's going on, or it is a family member that I'm worried about and how they're doing, and so there's this phone call coming in, and I just want to be really loving, and I want to be really compassionate, I want to be very much in my body. I want to just be present with that other person. Okay, so now I can imagine that. And now I'm imagining that interaction. Do you feel the energy is completely different than when I was experiencing that on stage experience, which was very high energy and I'm connecting with a lot of people and all that versus now it's about compassion and it's about a deep, deep connection, a soul connection, being there for someone. Ah, and then if they start panicking, I can be, everything is going to be okay. And come on, we can look at this. I'm here to support you and having all these things just naturally coming to me. I don't have to go into panic myself. I don't have to go into the fix it mode. I can just be there and be connected. Okay. Other examples. <laughs> Let's talk about roads and traffic and being in traffic, for example. You can imagine knowing that you have to go somewhere and perhaps you're a little worried that you might be too late and there's too much traffic or too much stress on the road, whatever it is. And you can already now pre-program your mind towards the kind of experience you would like to have. And do that right now. Just imagine that. I know we are all in the same boat. We all get to drive around in traffic. So just imagine that and someone might cut you off and then something's happening and just things, you know, you need to negotiate and you need to adjust and quickly react, things like that. Yeah. And you're doing it with ease and you're doing it with kindness. And if anybody does anything weird, you can just go, oh, I wish you well, my friend. Drive safe, drive safe. Okay. So imagine that. I know that talks to some of you guys. <laughs> Yay. So you're getting some examples here. You're getting some ideas yourself. Okay. I gave you different ideas, options about how you can use this and in what kind of context. So do the visualization, talk to yourself about it, practice the deep breathing, put a smile on your face, act it out. Oh, you guys, there's so much power in acting out. I love that with my granddaughters, how everything is a game, everything is a play, everything is real in that moment. And I love that attitude. So give yourself that gift that you are experiencing it in the way that you wished it could happen. So that is one way that you can use the law of attraction and your quantum state, that high energy frequency state that you are working on, that you are integrating more and more into your beingness to then master those situations. You can easily project yourself into the future. You can imagine being there just like you're eating the lemon and you're imagining it. And it's for the body as if it's happening right now. There is no difference for the body if it's happening right now or if you're imagining it. If you're eating an imaginary lemon or if you're eating a real lemon. To the brain, it's the same neurology that gets fired and you get the reactions in your body as if you truly had just bit into a lemon. So we are using that with our visualization, with our audio track and with using our body. By doing that, you are now giving your mind a new option. And then when a situation occurs, the mind goes, hmm, am I going to go to the old option or do I go to this? Because you have billions of options, you know that. And then with the practice that you just did, 
your brain will be more apt to go to this new option and saying, you know what? I'm going to be all cool when I walk on this stage and I'm just going to connect with everybody. I will feel the love and, oh man, the universe is just flowing through me and all that fun stuff. Man, when I'm going to be in traffic, you know what? I'm just going to drive slowly and I let people in. And if anybody does anything, I'm just going to be cool and gracious. I'm going to be very compassionate and just wish them well on their journey. And the brain is so brilliant that it will go for the better option. That's what makes it so much fun, that you will already immediately have an impact, you will have a result, and you will have an experience that will then immediately affirm what you did when you catch yourself saying, wow, I didn't freak out about this guy just now that cut me off. Wow, I just wished him well. Wow, I just breathed deeply, even so that happened. And that will then give you the incentive to do more of it. And then it becomes easier and easier. And that's how over time you will change your state. I have to laugh at myself as I'm using the traffic example because I used to be one of those speeders and I had my fair share of tickets over time. And you know what? It's been years since I've had a ticket because I changed my attitude. I changed this whole, I'm too late. I got to get there. I have to speed in order to get there. A, give myself more time. B, be more chill about it. I'm not mad at people anymore when they, you know, pass me weird. I just go, oh, please, please, please be safe. So I know how it feels when we are changing our attitude and when we are changing our vibration. It changes our internal dialogue. It changes our output. It changes how we feel in our body, how we're breathing. The endorphins we're able to kick off versus adrenaline. And you have the choice to create that in your life. And that is my invitation to you with this video today, specifically about how can I maintain my quantum state by using essentially preemptive met methods that are going to help you to step into that state at the time when you need it, okay? So think of the times in your life when this would be useful to you. The people, the circumstances, the events, every time you open your bills, <gasps> you get that adrenaline. Use that and then give yourself the experience that you want to have when you open your bills. An attitude of hope, of abundance, and it's going to get better. And next time it's going to get better. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I know you're getting lots of ideas here. Of course, the most important thing is for you to practice and to actually apply it in your own life. So that is my wish for you, that you are inspired right now to sit down and take some notes and lay out a plan. This is, for example, why I have my flip chart here to show you guys this is how I work. I love to draw pictures. I love to make little notes. And then, of course, I also have my to-do list and stuff. So you get a glimpse of that. That's the crazy part. <laughs> this is what I like to surround myself with. These are my reminders, the tree of life, the DNA, the chakras, the pool of chakras, and then also, of course, the vortex with the beautiful chakra alignment. So... Those are just the kind of things that I love, that encourage me, that keep me reminded of my quantum state and to keep me reminded to think in the terms of the law of attraction. So please find your own way. Find those ways to make vision boards, to surround yourself with art, reminders, anchors, the pictures, the movies that you're watching, the music that you're listening to, the kind of activities that you're doing with your body. I took up mandala painting a couple of years ago and that was wonderful. That was my whole thing throughout the whole winter of just painting a mandala every evening, every evening. And I felt there was a shift over time in also how then I was able to express myself artistically and also, of course, the thoughts that I was having while doing the exercises. So find your own ways of doing it. Have fun with it and whatever works for you. I would love to share that. Please let us know what works for you, the kind of things that you're doing and also the kind of questions that you have that you would like for me to answer in the future, okay? In the next video, I'm going to talk about what can I do if I'm in the situation and my buttons are getting pushed, in that moment of reacting, in that moment of putting my foot in my mouth or, you know, falling into that negative pattern and dang it, I went for it again and they pushed my button and I went wah, wah, wah and I immediately blew up. So whatever that is for you, that's what we're going to talk about in our next video, how you can respond and then draw on your resource in that moment, okay? Right on, my friend, then I wish you happy, happy practice and see you again.